guys you're welcome back in this video we are going to be taking a look at the mobile force design approach to building a responsive website as you can see in this diagram that the arrow begins from a much smaller device and then to a medium device and finally we move to a larger device so what this means is that we are going to be writing our default css for a smaller device and then we are going to be making use of media query to write for a much larger device so if we go back to our desktop first you will see that uh, the arrow begins from a larger device and then to laptop and a medium device and down to a mobile phone so the difference between these two design apps is that for desktop we begin from a larger device and then we use media query to write for smaller devices uh, but for mobile force what we do is write our default css for a smaller device and then we make use of media query to support larger device so let's get into coding so the first thing we want to do is to open our css playground in our vs code or you can use any other folder that you want so i'm going to right click on this and then go to quick actions and then open in vs code if you're on windows you will see an open with option and then you can click on vs code so once your vs code has opened what we need to do next is to create our mobile first html and css file just like what we did for the desktop first so we can come here and say mobile first dot css and then we can also do mobile first dot html so for the html we should bring our boilerplate out and then can connect our css using the link tag and we can point to our mobile first from the href like this so with this now our css is linked to our mobile first html the next thing we need to do is to open our mobile first in our browser so i'm going to go ahead and click on go live and then our page should open on our browser like this so um what i would do uh, to make it easier is to have our code and our output uh, side by side like this and i'm going to close this and just open up our mobile first like this so the first thing we are going to do is to give our page a default color so just have it in mind like the default code which means like the first code we are going to be writing outside of media query is going to be uh, for mobile first so we can come here and say body and our body is actually coming from here you can give this a background color of black it is now black like this so the next thing we have to do is to start writing media query for a much larger screen so if i come here now and bring out the inspect right click on your page and click on inspect and then click on the responsive icon here so we are going to see this option so let me um, separate this so now our mobile is going to uh, let's say it's going to start from 320 so i think this is the lowest you can also go more uh, but the standard or the most common is um, 320 like this so this is our mobile so the next device you are going to be supporting which is 576 so if you write 576 here so this is the next devices after our default device size that we are going to be supporting so in our previous video for the desktop first we make use of the max width for our media query but for this mobile force what we are going to be using is the main width so we are going to come here and do media and we are going to do main width and specify our screen size like this 576 and then we can write our code yeah so what this means is that any screen from the largest down to 576 are going to uh, be having this style so we are setting a limit to the screens that these styles are going to be applied so any screen starting from 1400 or above down to 576 are going to be having these styles so we can now come here and do body and then we can give this a background color of red so you can see now that uh, 576 is having a background color of red and then if we should reduce this to 576 minus 1 you can see that we are back to 7 so the minimum screen size that uh, are going to be having a background color of red is 576 so any screen size that is lower than 576 are going to be having our default background color or our default styles so let me just write small devices uh such as land 
Tip device of phones and then 576px and up so any screen from 576 upward are going to be having a background color of red so if i expand this now or go to even 440 uh, we are still going to be seeing this red because we didn't specify for any other screen but we are currently at 576 so we'll do 576 so the next screen we are going to be supporting is the medium devices which are tablets and this is going to be medium devices tablets from 768px and up what this means is like any device from 768px upward are going to be having the next style rules that we are going to be writing so for this we are going to do a media and then do a main width and then give it a 768px size and then come here and do a body and we can do a background color of let's say green so for this green now uh, if we add to our responsiveness and change this to 768 you can see now that this is green and if we reduce it to 767 minus 1 we are going to get back to red so what this means is any screen that is between 768 upward are going to be having green but any screen below 768 down to 576 are going to be having red and any screen that is below 576 is going to be having our default color which is also the black color so if we go back to um seven six eight now we are going to get the green color the next device that we are going to be supporting now is the large device so for the large device we are going to be making use of n92 so we can come here and do large devices just desktop and they are 992px and up so we can now come here and do at media do a mean width of 992px and we can do body and give it the background color of pink so if you come here now and uh, scale to 992 we are going to have pink and if we reduce this by one you already know that we are going to have the next one so what this means is if we go to the screen below this screen size we are going to have the css of the next uh, media query applied to the page so that's basically what is happening there so if we go back to 992 we are going to have our pink so uh, that's basically it and mind you you can specify your own device size that you want to style that you want to uh, support so this is not fixed so you can tweak it you can increase it you might want to start from 900 or anyone that you want to support so the next one we are going to be writing is the media query for extra large so we are going to come here and do extra large uh, devices and these are large desktops and we are going to start from 1 200 px and up so we are going to come here and do media mean width of 1200 px and we can do body and give it a background color of let's say yellow so if you go to 1200 now we are going to have yellow and you should already know that if we go below um, this screen size we are going to be having the next one and the next one is pink so uh, that's basically how it works and if i increase we are back to having yellow so the last one uh, that we are going to be supporting is 1400 px which is extra extra large devices so these extra large devices are large monitors that are very very big so we just categorize them under uh, 1400 and above so we can come here now and do extra extra large devices and we can do larger desktops or monitor 1400 px and above so we can now come here and do media mean width 1400 px and do body and give it a background color of blue so if we add to here and change this to 1400 then we are going to be having blue 
and of course if you go below this screen we are going to have yellow so that's basically it and then if we now scale down you can see how the colors are changing based on the screen size uh, but black is our default and when we scale up you can see now that you are having different colors for different screen size so what i want us to do is to compare uh, the responsiveness and the behavior of our mobile first with our desktop first so if you come here now and open our desktop first as well we can come here and do open with live server and i'm going to just open this so now uh we are going to put this on mobile responsive so what i want to do is i'm going to comment out this text so i will just have plain uh, backgrounds so i'll comment this out so if you come here and put our uh, mobile force on 320 and come to document and put it on 320 so to make it easier we could just add a text of desktop first here so we can come here and give this an h1 of desktop first and over here we can give this an h1 of mobile force and the next thing we want to do is uh, so that we'll be able to see them we could give this a style of color white so this is just for us to be able to see the text on the black background like that so now we have the mobile first here and then we have uh the desktop first here so i think we need to put this outside of the section so now we have uh, the desktop first and we have uh, the mobile first so for the mobile first on 320 you can see that this is black uh, but for this it is red and the reason is because for desktop first we did our black which is our default style we did it for desktop so we wrote our mobile we did our black which is our default color we did it for uh, mobile so and if you scale up to um seven five seven six so if you come here and do five seven six now uh you can see that we now have red and if you come here now uh you can see now that we also have red for five seven six and this five seven six so the next screen that follows the two of them have same styles but the default are different because we designed for mobile first so we are going to see the default styles for mobile force if we did desktop first then we are going to be seeing the default style for desktop first so and any other screen that follows are going to be uh the same so if i come here now and do seven six eight like this and if i come here and do seven six eight here as well i'm still going to get a green color for the two uh of them so what this means is like we are having the same styles for them but the default is different so the default is actually the main difference here because on mobile uh, we have our black and on big screen we have our black as default but any other one are going to be uh the same so if i come here and do 1200 it's going to give us yellow on desktop first and if i come here and do 1200 on mobile is also going to give us yellow so basically both are going to be achieving the same thing but in different ways um, because desktop is going from large to small while mobile is going from small to large so i hope you are able to like differentiate between desktop first and the mobile first and there's also an assignment for this video try to check that out to test your knowledge on the mobile and desktop first approach to media query so see you in the next video bye bye